Question 24 of the UTME 2018 physics past question. That's your jam. 2018 physics. It says a lead bullet of mass 0.05 kg kilogram is fired with a velocity of what 200 watt meter per second into a lead block of mass 0.95 kg. Given that the lead block can move freely, the final kinetic energy after impact is okay so two things we have to look for here all right uh first of all we have to find the velocity okay that's the final velocity then after getting the final velocity that's when we can now get what our final kinetic energy after impact and remember what the formula to get a, a kinetic energy that's what half m v square okay that's the, to get v first which is what our final velocity okay and if you look closely to this question the question relates to the law of conservation of what momentum okay which states that if two or more bodies you know collide in a closed system you know what's a closed system a closed system is a system that no external force is acting on that system okay so if two or more bodies collide in a closed system the total momentum before collision is equal to the total momentum after what collision okay which is what m1 and our initial m1 multiplied by our initial what velocity plus what m2 multiplied by the initial velocity of what m2 then equal to this is the momentum before collision which will be equal to the momentum after collision so it will be what m1 v1 plus what m2 v2 so the velocity of what m m what m1 okay so but here i know in the law of con uh, conservation of momentum um when it when we talk of collision there can be an elastic collision and what inelastic collision okay an elastic collision is the one that um like okay let's say the, you fire a bullet and it hits a wall and comes back all right but here if you see this question um it says the lead b b bullet is fired into a lead block okay given that the lead block can move free, uh, freely so it means that as the bullet was being fired it entered the lead block okay okay let me let me draw this okay the bullet being fired let's say this is the bullet and this is the block okay so it entered the lead block all right and it moved with the lead block so this is the bullet in the lead block, okay and it moved with the lead block okay so this is what an inelastic what collision all right elastic collision is when it hits maybe a metal surface and bounces back but, but this is what an inelastic what uh, collision okay so it entered the lead block and both of them moved with a velocities which is the final velocity that we have to what get first before we can get our kinetic what energy all right so it means that the final velocity after impact okay would be the same all right so we have here m1 u1 plus what m2 u2 which is our initial velocity will be equal to what m1 plus m2 bracket what v since they what collided all right they are together and they moved along with the same velocity so v will be the same not different okay you apply this when it's an what elastic what collision all right that's the bullet bounces back you know when uh when you when the, the bullet will be fired let's say to a metal wall okay the metal the metal might move a bit or or still remain there and the bullet would move so you can see that's different what velocities all right that different final velocities but here in this case the bullet was shot into the lead block and both of them move together so they have just one velocity all right stay closely with me all right okay and if you still don't understand try to go back to the law of conservation of momentum to understand this question better all right okay so we're going to apply this formula here so from here m1 what is m1 m1 is what that's the bullet uh, bullet mass is what 0, 0.0 what 5 and what is u1 okay u1 is what 200 what meters per second that's fired with the velocity and what is m2 m2 is what the block of mass that's the lead block of mass which is what 0.95 and what is u2 that's the initial velocity of this block of mass it was station it was stationary so our uh, initial velocity be what zero all right so from here we can put in our values into here so what is m let's draw down here so this we are going to have 0 0.05 times 
what is a new one that's your initial velocity which is what 200 plus m2 what's m2 sorry here m2 is 0 0.95 times u2 which is the in initial velocity is what zero equal to m1 plus m2 which was m1 0 0.05 plus 0 0.95 bracket was v we're looking for our final velocity v is unknown okay so from here this times this what would this give us this times this will give us what 10 and this is what this times the 0 0.95 times 0 will give us what 0 so plus 0 equal to this plus this will give us 1 and 1 times v is still is v all right so here we have what and 1 times v <clears throat> and 1 times v is still what v all right so here we have 10 plus 0 is what 10 equal to what 1 times this is what v so v is equal to what 10 meter per second all right so v is what 10 meter per what second okay so we've gotten our final velocity therefore we have to get our kinetic uh, kinetic what energy i'm putting this into this equation uh, formula here we have 1 over 2 times what is the mass so our mass now will be what you know the mass of the bullet and also what the lead block as they move together so it will be 0 0.95 plus what 0 0.05 and what would that give us 0 0.95 plus 0 0.05 bracket and v is what 10 okay so times 10 what to the power 2 that's 10 square so we have 1 over 2 this plus this will give us what 1 times 1 times what what is 10 square 10 square is what 100 all right and 2 here 1 2 in 100 will give us what 50 so our answer is what 50 joules okay so the final kinetic energy after impact is what 50 joules and our right option here is option c